Hi everybody, it's Renee from Wanna Scrap and I'm here today to share with you a loaded envelope that I'm working on for KSP by Louisa here on YouTube. She's having a uh, Valentine's slash birthday challenge giveaway and you can do one of three things, a loaded envelope, a flip book or a pocket letter. I chose to do the loaded envelope and uh, there is some rules to follow so I'll leave her link in the description box below so you can go check out the challenge details. But um, this is just a sneak peek uh, as to what I've been working on. And I don't want to show everything. The envelope isn't quite 100% complete yet. But I did want to do a VR here uh, just to show what um, I've been doing so far. And everything has a uh, different um, need what you need to do uh, whether it's like for the loaded envelope you need to do a wand a tag and a note card so uh, or a shaker or something like that but I've chosen to do the note card so this is what I've been doing so far and on the envelope I'm using an envelope that's going um, this way and instead of vertical so I thought I would try out one like this and I layered some lace here, some white and pink lace, and out of some organza ribbon here, I made a bow. And this is a yo-yo flower couple that I made, which I just layered here. And I had gotten this actually on an envelope from Fran Glinsky a while back, and I just thought it was so pretty with the eyelash trim, and I had saved it, and it's got a little brad in the middle. So I thought I would incorporate it into um, this flower here, and I really like the way it turned out. Uh, this here is just for, like, not a bag topper, but I'm putting something in here. So I just don't want it to show through, so it's just going to be like, kind of like my bag topper. So, and it helps fill up the back here and kind of makes it look a little more prettier. Um, this isn't really my wand per se. I was just working on some chenille um, stems here and I put this little kind of like, it's not diamond, but it's like a dangle here. And this flower here was gifted to me recently by Addicted to Nail Art and Crafts here on YouTube. And uh, so thank you, Dale. And uh, this bow, I just saw Louisa and do this in a video earlier today how she made a bow out of tulle and I thought oh, I got some tulle because I just wasn't feeling it with this heart I liked it and I put a string of pearls around it and the flower and that but I just wasn't really feeling it but the bow I think just tops it off so I gessoed up one of these craft sticks and glittered it and then put some pink bling here and I just put a feather on the back here and it just makes for a nice decoration in here and then on the back I just put a heart doily here this is a big fluffy white chenille trim stem that I got recently and I layered some white and pink uh, lace here also and then this is from the die cut Actually, it was what came out of the center here. So I just put the outside one piece here and then the inside piece on here. And then this is my note card. This is the envelope. And with this kind of heavy cardstock pattern paper or whatever, it uh, was cracking. So I put some washi tape down here, which was gifted to me from Gabby at Crafty Yellow Design, so thank you Gabby. And uh, there's some uh, bling trim that I put on here just to kind of decorate it more. And this is a shabby chic embellishment that I've been working on, and I do have a tutorial up on this also. And I just glimmer misted it up, I don't know if it's coming up on this here. And I'm going to seal it with a Velcro, but for now, for the purpose of this video, I didn't do that just yet, and it is double-sided paper, and this is a note card that goes inside, and again, I put the washi tape down and blinged it up, and this is a die cut that I have here, and I just quarter-rounded the edges, 
and I just put a die cut on the middle here and I just put in a little piece of pink paper now Louisa doesn't have to use that um, but I just put it in there in case she wants to use this as a note card and put her own sentiment or write whatever she wants in there and then I cut out an oval too that's got like a stitched look to it so and I figured she could put it there but she doesn't have to use it but I did include that just in case and then there's the back so yes this is my um, loaded envelope it's not fully loaded yet as I said I do want to keep some things as a surprise but I did want to do a VR for Louisa and give you a sneak peek of how it's coming along so I hope you like this video and like how this is coming along and I hope you're having a great day and talk to you later have a good day bye for now